Hi friends, welcome to Vigration Technologies. Please do like and subscribe to our channel so that you will get latest notifications. And today in this video, we will talk about a error which we usually face in our day-to-day -day programming life in our C sharp. And the error is cannot convert null to int because it is a non-nullable value type in C sharp. And also I will demonstrate with a simple example that how to replicate or reproduce this error and also how to resolve or avoid such type of errors in our day-to-day -day programming life. So let's get started. So here the error is saying cannot convert null to int because it is a non-nullable value type in C sharp. And the error is very simple that we cannot assign a null value to our int value type. And let me just move to Visual Studio to explain with a simple example. So now I am here in the Visual Studio to explain you about how to replicate this error. So let me just take a simple variable like let's say int. I will take my variable name as x but you can take anything and let me just assign any type of value in it. Let's say I just assign 5. Now there is no such type of errors or nothing is there. But let's say I will just assign some different type of value. Let's say I will just assign a zero value like that. Now also there is no error. Let's say I will just assign some negative value like minus 10. Now also there is no error. But let me just assign some different type of value like a null. Now whenever just I assigned a null value into this x type of variable then it showed me some of the error like the error is saying cannot convert null to int because it is a non-nullable value type. Because here you can see this x is a int type of variable. Here we are using the int 32. So by default it will just take int 32 if we will not, not use int 32 also. If Otherwise if I can use int 32 also there is no problem with that. But the error is saying that we cannot assign null to our int value. So this is how we reproduce the error. But now let's say how to avoid such type of errors. Let's say I can assign any type of value like 0, minus 10 or any type of plus, minus anything. And as we can see that this is a int 32. So I can assign the value from minus to, to plus this, this range of values. So I can assign the value range from minus this range to that range. Here you can see. But I cannot assign a null value into it. Because whenever I will just assign a null value, then it will just throw me compilation error. So now that how to avoid such type of errors. To avoid such type of errors, first of all, we just need to check for the null conditions. Like let's say before I am just assigning any type of value to the variable int x. Then first of all, I, mean, I just need to check whether that variable contains any type of null value in it. If there is null value in it, then I can, then don't assign null value into the variable x. Now the next thing is we need to use the nullable type. So in case of the nullable type, we need to just use question mark after the our data type. So here you can see this is my nullable type. So here whenever I, I will just use the nullable type, then I can assign null value into it. Also I can assign 5, I can assign 0, I can assign any type of negative value also. But also I can assign null value into it. So it depends upon the programmer that whether we just want to use the nullable type or if we just don't want to use the nullable type then we can simply by using the condition like if the value is not equal to null then we will just assign the value into the, our x variable. But it is the best thing is what we can do is we can use the nullable type so which can take both null value as well as non-nullable value. And also let me just give give you some more example. 
let's say int x equal to let's say 5 now there is no nothing or no compilation errors let's say later also i just want to assign some other type of value let's say i will just assign 10 then it work fine let's say i will just assign minus 10 then also this will work fine but let's say i will just assign null value into it then again this same error it will just throw like cannot convert null to int because it is a non nullable value type so we can't assign a null value to our int variable but we can assign a zero value we can assign a positive value and also we can assign a negative value but the value should be ranged from this minus to our this plus means the value should range between this but let's say here I will just use my nullable type then it will just erase the compilation error so so here what I am doing is first I am just assigning a 5 value and after that I am just changing my value from 5 to null the null as I here I use the nullable type so it will not show any type of compilation errors but let's say I will just remove this question mark or we can say the nullable type then it will automatically throw the compilation errors so this is the scenario which I am just showing you for an example but whenever the programmers or the developers usually use such type of things in our day to day programming life then let's say if you are using a int value then always check for the null conditions but let's say if you want to allow the null value as well as non nullable value then always it is better to use the nullable type so in case of the nullable type it will take both positive zero null value everything so just we need to make sure that whenever we are just doing any kind of programming things that we need to just take care of th these things and we need to just remember that uh, there may be a scenario where we can use the null value then in that scenario we should use the nullable type otherwise we can use like this also if in the if condition I can simply check for the if the value is not equal to null then I will just assign the value into my variable so this is the things which we need to take care uh, during our programming day to day life otherwise it will simply throw the error like cannot convert null to int because it is a non nullable value type and here whatever I have just shown for the example that is just for the basic examples but whenever you are just using in your programming life you need to just make sure that these things works so this is all about my today's video stay tuned for my next video till then bye bye thank you